Satellite constellations are reviving the satellite internet industry and can close the digital divide. Satellite constellations, or satellite swarms, are systems of small satellites in low Earth orbit that work together to deliver internet coverage without the lag and connectivity issues of traditional satellite internet. Here, we'll talk about how satellite constellations work and popular providers like Starlink. Read more about Starlink and stay up to date on the latest business technology by clicking the link above and subscribing to Ion Tech. Satellite internet is useful for places where traditional internet infrastructure like cable, fiber, or phone wiring isn't available, such as rural areas, small towns, or developing nations. But traditional satellite internet will typically have one satellite high above Earth, meaning data has to travel a long distance, causing latency, or the satellite may go over the horizon and lose contact as Earth blocks the signal from getting to your device. Deploying multiple satellites in a constellation or swarm addresses both challenges. Lower orbit means a shorter distance for data to travel, so less latency. And overlapping coverage ensures constant contact with the signal. Constellations are also more economical. Smaller satellites are cheaper to build, launch, and operate than a few large, complex, and bulky spacecrafts of traditional satellite internet. SpaceX's Starlink is a major competitor in the satellite constellation space race. As of this year, Starlink has launched almost 3,000 satellites, with coverage in much of North America, Europe, and Australia, with plans to expand into South America, Africa, and some of Asia. Other satellite constellation competitors include OneWeb, which has over 600 satellites and plans to bring connectivity to airlines by 2024, Viasat, whose first satellite constellation, Viasat-3, is scheduled to launch in 2023, Telesat, which plans to launch 1,600 low-Earth satellites in 2023, and Amazon's Project Kuiper, which plans to launch over 3,000 satellites later this year. While satellite constellations are a promising solution to closing the digital divide, there may be a negative impact on space research. Astronomers say that the large, fast-moving constellations leave bright streaks across telescope images, and that the transmissions can bleed across the frequencies used by astronomy's radio antennas. What do you think? Will satellite constellations do more harm than good? How will they impact global internet access? Share your thoughts in the comments, and remember to like and subscribe.